this is Mike with him in video. And guess what? I have found my Hero 7 Black. So we're going to do a little short video with it today. This will be my first video actually on the motorcycle with it. Um, so we'll see what we think. We're running down the interstate at about 75 miles an hour. And uh, we'll see how the image stabilization does. We'll see how my new uh, Sony uh, microphone does in my helmet. I did learn something from the other mic though. As <laughs> I like my old helmet. I don't think I need to talk nearly as loud as I did before in order for it to pick it up pretty clear. Um, and I'm going to guess it's going to be the same with this microphone since I spent a, a little bit more money on it. This one's actually a uh, in-stereo mic. Although how much in-stereo you're going to get on the inside of a helmet, I don't know. So... to the uh, ride for the unborn and uh, now I'm headed home not a bad day middle of October here in Virginia very seasonable it's uh right now it's probably low 50s gonna get up mid 50s today just beautiful sunshine couldn't ask much more um, gotta take advantage of these days though just going to ride the back roads. Well, I went to the ride this morning. I got out there on the interstate road, the super slab. But now we're just going to take it easy and take the back roads home, soak it up, and uh, see how this uh, GoPro uh, Hero 7 Black does. and image stabilization and how my new mic does and I got it all in this uh, Neotech 2 helmet which I'm just absolutely loving by the most comfortable helmet I've ever worn whether it be skid lid half helmet three quarter helmet full face just absolutely awesome so right now we're on Elbow Road. It actually goes from uh, Chesapeake into Virginia Beach. And it's uh, one of those roads out here that can, uh, it's popular with a lot of the local motorcyclists here in Virginia Beach area. It, easy to forget that you're actually in the city on this road. Um, it's a lot like going down out into old Princess Anne County headed towards North Carolina but this is actually uh, headed between Virginia Beach and uh, Chesapeake I'm headed back towards Virginia Beach right now though and uh, both ends of this road are pretty well populated and uh, you go all down bigger main roads but it's just nice to get out here Get you in the city for a few minutes. Here in a few minutes, we're going to have a nice big uh, reclamation pond. It's more the size of a small lake than a pond. It's coming up here on the left. Don't know how well you can see it on the GoPro. This is uh, one area, though, that there's the spillway. Um, got to watch for uh, flooding when there's been heavy rains or uh, storms off the coast and keeps the streams and stuff from uh, draining out it's out in the stumpy lake area water's pretty high out there you can see the trees covered up with water had a couple days ago got about two inches of rain out in this way along with a coastal storm a little further inland it was giving snow to the west and to the north of us I guess it was the first named winter storm of the year I don't know what's up with that now they weren't naming 
not just hurricanes now, but just about every storm that rolls through. So, I think it was Avery is what they were calling it. Road's really starting to see build up of communities and houses because, you know, it's just, it's nice out here. Some of these are older houses, of course. I'm getting back closer into town, coming here to Virginia Beach. Gonna head down past the uh, amphitheater on the way home. There's on it. Um, if you're not familiar with them, you gotta be careful about how fast you're going. And you never know if there's traffic around the corner, or like I said before, water get up on this road really quick and easy you see the water right there on our right hand side and it's been a couple days since the rain cars will swing out of their lane coming around these corners but it's a nice area one thing nice about living in this area of Virginia southeastern Virginia is you get pretty much uh, good days to ride year-round um, yeah, sometimes it takes a little bit more clothes, but it's not like when I lived up north where you can, uh, unless you're wanting to ride in the snow, um, which I've done, I don't care to do it anymore. Or down when I was down south, down in Texas, which was nice, but you didn't get a whole lot of the... you got one season you know you had like early summer summer late summer early summer summer late summer although they did have a cool ride down there it was called uh, are you tough enough and I think it was in February and you'd start in Corpus Christi and it'd be in the 70s and a few hours later, you'd be over on the west side of San Antonio, southwest side in the Texas Hill Country. And it wasn't unusual to get freezing rain overnight and just low 30s and rain. It seemed like every time I rode out there and back, I always got good weather while I was there. And we'd ride the, uh, what was it, the Three Sisters out there and just have a good time. So... I don't know if it's a change in the in the people and the atmosphere and the perception or maybe this area is just different it doesn't seem to be as much uh, camaraderie and get together and events for the motorcycles here as there used to be um, when I was down in Texas of course that was almost 15 years ago Over there on the right is the uh, Virginia Beach Sportsplex, Prince Sand Athletic Complex, as they want to call it. And over here to our left is the uh, Virginia Beach Amphitheater. All the concerts come there. If you're ever here and you're going to concerts, I highly recommend riding to them. You get to park right up front and get out easy. Um, of course, there's no cost for parking there at least for regular and for motorcycle it's one nice thing some other areas you go to concerts you got to buy your ticket for the concert and then you still got to pay parking on top of that it's just ridiculous especially with the cost of some of these concerts these days but since that's an amphitheater you do have lawn seating so you you can get most uh, if you're willing to sit up there in the grass can't bring your own chair but you can rent one I think it's like five bucks um, and then when you turn it back in they give you a couple dollars back on it um, so it's uh, if you're willing to sit up there in the grass you can actually get uh, pretty decent prices there for concerts probably some of the best prices there were Kid Rock. Of course, when he comes to town, he uh, 
brings his favorite brand of beer I can't remember what it is and uh, he sets the price for it for, for during his concert so the adult beverage is uh, cheaper not that I partake in that much anymore never made a conscious decision to quit drinking I just pretty much stopped every once in a while I have a drink but Now we're really getting back into town here. So we're getting ready to come down the back side of uh, Oceana Naval Air Station here. Getting pretty close to home. So this will be the last little segment here. But uh, I was just thinking in between my little segments here, well, Virginia Beach is pretty nice here. We've got a city of what, more than half a million people, not a metropolis by any means, but big enough, to, and the surrounding cities are close enough together, you got a few million people living in a small area, that uh, you know, pretty much do have something to do anytime you want to want to do it, get anything you need, um, pretty diverse community. Um, and I've ridden around other big cities and stuff. I compare to the same size as Hampton Roads, you know, the greater Baltimore area and stuff like that. And you know, even when you're out in areas like this where you're in the city but not quite in the city, um, it just has a whole different feel to it. Can't really call it small town feel, but it doesn't have that big city feel either. So enjoyable wonder if they got any jets flying today see if we get to see any see the wave off signal going I don't know if that's because the runway just closed for a minute or they're just not flying Look, got an EMS truck coming. So. Well, guess we won't get to see any planes today. Um, this has been Mike with Eminem Video. I uh, hope you've enjoyed my little rant and my little test of my GoPro and. When I edit the footage, I'll see what we, what I think of it as far as using it as a, as my moto vlog camera. I don't think my uh, my X3000 is going to do well on a chin mount. I didn't like the way it felt. Felt like it was dragging the front of the helmet down too much. It's a shame because I really love that or that uh, that camera. But I wanted to do a mount that the helmet wasn't getting into the picture so I decided to go with the chin hel uh, mount on my new helmet and uh, so far I've been real happy with the mount I just got to figure out what, what we're doing with the uh, as far as the cameras if I keep getting good enough quality one of the things I didn't like about my Hero 6 even with it out of the side of my helmet Riding out here in the summertime, it had a bad habit of overheating. Um, I'm hoping my seven's not going to be as bad and that it can keep cool. So, well, if you've enjoyed it, I have. Hope you'll like my video and uh, hit subscribe, tune in some more, and we'll see you out on the roads and out there camping. If there's something you're interested in southeastern Hampton Roads or northeastern North Carolina, I'll see if I can't get out there.